Hi guys, I'm here to uh, show you guys how to blend two files together. I'm going to be blending two image files and a text file together and I'm going to be using water to create a cool water effect along with it. So let me show you how it's done. So now that I have my image up, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new adjustment layer. So I'm just going to go up to the top here to layer, go to a new adjustment layer and go under to hue and saturation. So I'm going to go in there, create a new layer here and right here you're going to have a new menu pop up. It says zero. I'm going to go down to saturation. I'm going to change that to negative 71 one, and just leave it like that. So now my image is now lost a lot of its color. So now I'm going to go in for the next step and just going to go right back into layer, new layer adjustment. And then we're going to play with levels. So we're just going to make a new level here. And uh, we're just going to go in here and uh, change this to a 0 0.5. And I'm going to change the part over and just keep it at 255. And next we're going to do a, another layer adjustment. We're going to go in and play with the brightness and contrast make another layer here. This is all going to be part of your layer right here. So you're not, you know, filling with the entire work that you're playing with right now. You're just dealing with just the layer. So I'm going to go under um, here. Brightness is going to be stay zero. And then we're going to change contrast to negative 35. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to create a new layer of all the other layers that we've created. And I've chosen here a very dark red color. So I'm just going to take that and use the pay tool, paint over top of it. And then I'm going to take the brush tool. I've picked a brush that has, I don't, want, I don't know what you call it. It's not, it's not very hard. So it's, it's very soft. So I'm just going to go in the middle of my image, just kind of place it somewhere here in the middle. I'm going to just tap it a couple times and bring out, reveal the layer beneath it. Just like that. Kind of gives it a cool effect. So next, I'm going to add a text. So I'm going to make it white. I've already set my font size to 500 points. I'm using the font duality. And I'm just going to simply do a V and drag it right here in the middle. So now that I have my text, instead of using um, blending options or blending mode, I'm going to play with my text here in filter. So I'm going to go here under distort and choose displace. And I'm going to set my horizontal scale to 20, my vertical scale to 20, and my displacement map to tile. On my undefined areas, I'm going to choose wrap around. So before I started, I saved my um, water layer here as a PSD file just here called water. And I'm going to open that. And what that's going to do here, it's going to make the edges of my image fold itself around all the waves in the water, which is a really cool effect. It just grabs it. So now that it's finished, I'm going to take my V text layer and I'm going to move it below my layer that I've just created here. And I'm going to duplicate my first layer here, just like that. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the top over everything else that I've created here. So I'm just going to go to layers and I'm going to go to overlay. And now it's sitting over top of um, all the images and it's adding even more to the water effect that we've done to this image and that is that is it that is all thank you for watching guys